practicing every day, asking how specifically is whatever's happening? How is it getting me my dream? If you can practice and master that, what's going to be in your way? Nothing. Your perceptions are filtered by your values. You have a pulmonary nuclei in the thalamus that is a gating and filtering area that selects with confirmation bias and disconfirmation bias with false positives and false negatives. We select our information so we can extract out a finite bit of information out of an infinite possible uh, data that's in the universe. The universe is potentially infinite, but we only get a small reality of it. All of our senses are very small smidgens of what's there. Our sight only sees a, the electromagnetic spectrum between 400 and 700 nanometers, and the, the higher frequency, smaller wavelength, 400 and beyond, the ultraviolet, X-ray, and gamma, we don't see, and the infrared, microwave, and long-wave radio, we don't see, beyond the 700 nanometer. And so we live in a very small, finite world. Our hearing is 30 to 30,000 cycles per second. Our tactile is limited by the grooves of our fingers, and we and the, the sensory receptors, we live in a very finite world. And we, we, in addition to that, our mind filters out things further. So we live in a very, very finite world. And we have the capacity to take whatever received through our senses, receptors give us. And with past experience stored in our subconscious mind, we can take that with new associations from various regions of the brain and other experiences, and we can take that and we can make a mountain out of it or a molehill. We can turn into heaven or hell. We can take any stimulus and turn into anything we want. I've, I've, I've bet people that I could have, have them take something they thought was terrible and I could make them grateful for it. And I've had people that have actually thought they had something they were infatuated with and I can show them that I can make them where they actually are disgusted by it. And I've proven and I've won every time because I know how to ask the question to reveal the unconscious and to balance out those perceptions or polarize those perceptions. And um, believe it or not, you have the capacity to do that. So you can take a perception and stack new associations with it and um, make a heaven or hell out of anything. So you have that capacity. So blaming things on the outside is a disempowerment. Giving credit for something outside is a disempowerment. It's a denial of what you see out there inside you and denying of your capacity to realize you have the ability to take whatever that is and turn it into whatever you want. That's the power of your mind, power of your perceptual system. And that's the beauty of your executive function because it has the capacity to neutralize anything that comes your way. So changing your perception is asking questions. The quality of your life is basically quite the questions you ask. If you ask questions that make you un the unconscious conscious. So if something happens and you think this terrible event's occurring, a day, a week, a month, a year, or five years later, you find out that it was terrific. But why wait for the years to go by before you see the terrific? Why not look right now and discover it? It doesn't take time and space with the aging process to have wisdom. All you got to do is ask the right question and become aware of it now. Every week in the breakthrough experience, I show people how to do that. And they've taken so-called abuses and so-called bad things which are their labels, they're just labels because they've been unwilling to look at the other side. And I show them how to see the other side and they turn it around and all of a sudden they're, that load that they've been carrying, that weight they've been carrying is gone. And they realize they had nothing to do with that event out there. And they've been blaming that event for years and running that story to their friggin' psychotherapist, which is it almost, it's insane that that is even still allowed in psychology running dramatic stories and thinking that's somehow going to make you empowered. All that's going to do is keep your amygdala running, myelinate the lower areas of the brain, damage and weaken the, the forebrain and make you a victim so they can keep you on your their little cycle all your life. That's insanity. No, you take command of your perceptions and find out exactly how whatever's happened, how is it helping you get what's most important? That's a powerful question. And answer it. And don't sit there. I don't know. I can't find it. And act like a little kid. Be mature enough to find the answer. Solve that problem. You can practice. Benson's law is a law that says if you practice something consistently, you'll master it. If you practice your perceptions in a balanced way and master it, nothing outside you affects your life. If you master prioritization, 
You're no longer in depreciating yourself. And the same thing on decisions. The decisions that you make, if you let the amygdala making those decisions, you're going to be impulseful, impulsive and re reactive, and you're going to be instinctual all the time. And you're going to let the world on the outside run you because you have a biased perception. But if you get objective and live by your highest values, you will govern your decisions with wisdom, prudence, and inspiration. And you will spontaneously act, not out of a decision, but out of a calling. And most people don't even know what the transcendental wake, awakening is for people. In the breakthrough experience, I teach people how to access that. So they're not sitting there running decisions from the outside. They're called from within. And it's hard to comprehend that if you've never experienced it, but it's powerful. And the same thing, there's nobody telling you that you have to do something. And if they do, it's because you're chosen to not tell yourself. If you don't empower yourself intellectually, you'll be told what to do. If you don't empower yourself in business, you'll be told what to do there. If you don't empower yourself intellectually, you'll be told what to think. If you don't empower yourself in finances, you'll be told what you're worth. If you don't empower yourself in family, you'll be doing jobs around the house that you could be delegating. If you don't empower yourself in, in social, you'll be told propaganda and misinformation we see all over the politics. If we don't empower ourselves in, in our health, we'll be told what drugs to take and organs to remove. If we don't empower ourselves spirits, we'll be told some outdated, antiquated dogma that is basically there to control you to so you can be a sheep instead of a shepherd. Man, you have the capacity to be empowered in all seven areas of life. That's what I'm interested in doing in Breakthrough. Give you the power back. Quit giving your power away. So you have the capacity to change your priorities. On a daily basis, you can fill your day with high priority actions, say no to things that aren't. There's nothing out there stopping you. There's no duty that you have to go by unless there, you are subordinating some tradition, convention, mother and father. Bowen, the psychologist, showed that most people are trapped in their little family dynamic. They're afraid of upsetting their mommy or daddy, and they're playing like a child all their life. Instead of transcending their their avoidance of pain and seeking of pleasure and their subordination to individual authorities and subordination to collective authorities. Very few people are walk the path of transcendence, but we all have that capacity to do it. And our executive function is giving us permission to do it as we empower our life. But we're not gonna do it sitting there subordinating to the outside world. You wanna make a difference, you're not gonna do it by fitting in, you're gonna do it by standing out. And standing out means walking your own path, being your own trailblazer, your own unborrowed visionary. And that's only going to occur if you live by highest priority. And that's going to occur when you follow Benson's law of practice every day, living by priority and practicing every day, asking how specifically is whatever's happening? How is it getting me in my dream? If you can practice and master that, what's going to be in your way? Nothing. You take everything and you spin it in a way where you win. And that to me is the only way to go through life is just to turn things into opportunities. Challenges are opportunities. Stressings into blessings, scars into stars. You know, we can sit there and pity party, trauma drama, ho hum, dole drum, and have digital craniorectalitis syndrome, or we can get off our ass and go do something amazing. And 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 that that even that ass is an awakened spiritual service if we turn it into opportunity. And so I'm a firm believer that we have the capacity to do that. And I I try my best to teach people those principles and tools on how to do that because there's a science to it. It's not, it's not rocket science. It's not something you can't do. I've seen six-year-olds learn how to do it, eight-year-olds and 10-year-olds. In fact, sometimes that the older people that have been programmed for so many years and got caught in the dogma and tradition that the ones that have the most difficult because they've got hidden agendas to be proud of their opinions, which trap them. And they're sitting there worrying about what people think instead of getting on with doing something amazing and going through the phases of first being challenged and ridiculed and violently opposed until they become self-evident as a transformer of the planet. So anyway, you have the capacity to change your perception, decisions, and actions. I'm certain about it. Thank you for joining me for this presentation today. If you found value out of the presentation, please go below and please share your comments. We certainly appreciate that feedback. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification icons. That way I can bring more content to you and share more to help you maximize your life. I look forward to our next presentation. Thank you so much for joining us.